Welcome to another action-packed movie recap, this time we are discussing a 2002 action movie called, The Transporter, so sit back press the CC subtitles, and enjoy the video. Frank Martin, a former special operations soldier, now resides in southern France as a highly skilled driver mercenary known as the Transporter. Abiding by three stringent rules during his transportations, he ensures, first no altering deals, second no names, third the package should remain unopened. In the city of Nice, Frank is contracted to transport three bank robbers using his black BMW 735i. However, after the successful heist, they forcibly introduce a fourth individual into Frank's vehicle. Concerned about the weight affecting his planned escape, Frank refuses to drive until the desperate leader kills one of his own men, pushing him out of the car. Left with no choice, Frank complies reluctantly. Later, the robbers tempt Frank with a higher sum of money to drive them to Avignon but he refuses. Ultimately, the robbers flee in a separate car but fail miserably due to their amateur driving skills. Upon returning to his villa, Frank faces questioning from the local police inspector Tarconi regarding the getaway vehicle used in the robbery. Tarconi, lacking substantial evidence, departs without making any concrete accusations. Subsequently, Frank receives a new assignment, deliver a package weighing 50 kilograms to an American named Darren Wall Street Betancourt. While changing a flat tire, Frank notices suspicious movements within the package. Deviating from his third rule, he decides to open it and discovers a captive sexy woman, tightly bound and gagged. They stopped for refreshments. Next, he allows him to have toilet break while tied to a rope when she makes a futile attempt to escape, but Frank manages to recapture her, returning her to the trunk alongside two police officers who had caught sight of the scene. As promised, Frank successfully delivers the package to Wall Street and reluctantly agrees to transport a briefcase for him. However, during a brief stop to fetch drinks for the imprisoned officers, the briefcase, unbeknownst to Frank, contains a hidden explosive device that detonates. Fueled by a thirst for vengeance, Frank storms Wall Street's villa, skillfully neutralizing his henchmen. To escape, Frank jacks a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, only to discover the captive woman from the earlier package, bound and gagged in the back seat. Out of conscience, Frank brings her, known as Lai, to the safety of his own residence. Wall Street visits a surviving associate in the hospital, asking who's responsible for the villa attack. Discovering that Frank is alive, Wall Street eliminates the wounded henchman. The following day, Tarconi returns, inquiring about Frank's stolen vehicle, which Frank claims was taken from him. Supporting his alibi, Lai assumes the role of Frank's new cook and girlfriend. Tarconi, lacking definitive evidence, departs once more. Shortly thereafter, Wall Street's henchmen unleash a barrage of missiles and automatic gunfire upon Frank's villa. Narrowly escaping through an underwater passage, Frank and Lai find refuge in a nearby safe house. Frank, upset due to all the mess happened, so Lai offers herself to relieve the tension. <laughs> boy. At the police station, Lai utilizes Tarconi's computer to uncover crucial information about Wall Street's illegal activities. Frank plans to rebuild his villa and start anew. Lai reveals that Wall Street is human trafficking 400 Chinese individuals, including her own family, in shipping containers. Frank and Lai confront Wall Street at his office, learning Lai's father is also Wall Street's accomplice. Frank is apprehended, and Tarconi arrives at the scene, the two syndicate partners falsely accuse Frank of kidnapping Lai. Tarconi, realizing that Frank's methods could solve the case, decides to help Frank in his escape, with fake hostage act with Tarconi, they bust it out. Frank tracks them down to the bustling docks of Marseille, where the shipping containers holding the trapped individuals are being loaded onto trucks. Although Frank is spotted by the guards and forced into a fierce battle, he fails to halt the progress of the trucks. Undeterred, Frank seizes an opportunity and steals an aging vehicle, continuing the pursuit as the sun rises on the horizon. However, luck turns against him as the car breaks down on a quiet country road. Undeterred, Frank improvises and commandeers a small airplane from a nearby farmer, skillfully navigating the airspace while following the route of the trucks. With daring precision, Frank parachutes onto one of the moving trucks, determined to put an end to Wall Street's heinous operations. A grueling battle ensues, showcasing Frank's formidable combat skills. In a dramatic turn of events, Frank manages to eliminate Wall Street by hurling him out of the truck, where he gets arrested after. However, the confrontation is far from over. As Frank steps out of the truck, he is unexpectedly ambushed by Lai's father and taken to the edge of a menacing cliff. Ready to fight back against his captors, Frank is caught off guard when Lai, 
torn by conflicting loyalties, reluctantly aims her weapon and shoots her own father. Tarconi, along with the police, arrives just in time to witness the climax of the intense standoff. With the captive individuals now free, they applaud Frank for his exceptional work and unwavering determination. If you like more of my videos please consider liking and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on more movie hidden gem recaps. Thank you.